Welcome everyone! Welcome to another episode of First Minutes. This is Metal Canyon and we'll be looking at the first minutes of Pharmacon, a game by Vizimeka Games. I think that's that's what it is, Vizimeka Games? Anyway, let's uh, do begin. Uh, first of all, the, um, the resolution is a bit weird. It's like, um, I don't know. It's certainly not uh, full HD. Agent set is 73. You have been selected by Conducted Tech, drone supplier of an electric faction, to accomplish a top priority mission. Abnormal elemental activity has been detected on an island unlisted in our database. According to our information, it is a pack of harmful beasts using the element water that have invaded the island to establish their burrow there. Conducted Tech supplies all the necessary equipment for accomplishing your duty. This equipment obviously uses an, the element electric, emblem of our faction. As our element electric is the best asset against the time element water, uh, not time element, the element water, the mission should go smoothly. <clears throat> mission, neutralize all the elemental beasts that you come across to prevent any infestations. You will be recovered once the mission is accomplished. So basically, you create drones, landing on the island, and fight various beasts. So here's the unlisted island. I should check the equipment supplied by Conducted Tech. The provided case contains six elemental parts using chemical and physical properties of the element electric. This part's new design is colored to match our emblem, the element electric. Not really sure how that is an element, but alright. A part's power varies according to its element and the targets its element. However, hovering the mouse over a part from the case shows the amount of damage that it inflicts according to the element of the beast attacked. It looks like Tetris. <clears throat> ah, you can see that it does the most damage uh, against water-based enemies. Let's connect a few parts to the drone in order to increase its attack power against the elements. Alright, so, um, what are these? I don't know. Alright, so let's, oops, let's put a part here. Okay, so we'll be doing four damage. Uh, let's do a part here, for example. Hmm, can I rotate this? Part deconstruction, I don't want that. I can't seem to rotate it, so that will have to be it. Hmm. Yeah, see, this is, this is an issue here. Let's put it like this. Put that here. Oh, the drone's power has increased according to the parts fitted. <clears throat> this power determines the damage inflicted on the beasts uh, the drones attack. Move forward, but I want to. I don't want to do more. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all these uh, things. It's gonna do twenty damage. Move forward. I kind of like that revision. I already know things. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's moving. I didn't know it would actually be animated. That's cool. Here is a first beast. A first beast. I think the game is actually French, so there might be some uh, weird stuff, you know, in the translation. Uh, including the electric element. You'd think it would be more like electricity or something, but you know, it's fine. I can see it's time water and its health. Okay, so there's the water, there's the health. And hovering over it, I can display its name, size, strength, and rage level. None rage. Force 1 to 2, big to Bagwafant. It's a Bagwafant, <laughs> I like that. The bigger a beast is, the more powerful its attacks are likely to be. So this, the force is, I'm assuming, the attack power. A small beast can inflict one damage point, a big one one to two, and a huge one one to three points of damage. Okay. You can attack a beast from the front, the back, the right, or the left. The beast will be pushed according to the attack angle chosen. Let's target the first beast to start with. Okay, let's do the front. When the drone is equipped and a beast is targeted, click the targeted point a second time to confirm the attack. Whoa! What the hell? Oh wait, the beasts only attack the drone if they are attacked first. And it destroyed one of the parts. The repairs uh, bar visible on the right show the quantity of components available for repairing the element damage inflicted on the drone. Elemental damage. So what does this mean? Four out of nine. I've got four out of nine parts to repair water stuff? <clears throat> Or water damage, I don't know. The bar underneath the drone shows its condition. That's the condition. If this bar empties completely, the drone will explode. Repairing one damage point uses up one component on the repairs bar, corresponding to the element of the damage repaired. Oh yeah, okay, so. 
Uh, I will repair this damage by clicking on it. When a bar is empty... Wait a second! It used a... Oh. It was more than one, was it? Yeah. When a repairs bar is empty, you can choose to destroy a part to regain repair components. Repairs components. <clears throat> Hovering over a part will reveal a button with a red cross on it. Clicking it will destroy the part. The kind of damage repairable depends on the element of the part destroyed. The drones are always subjected to a lot of damage during missions. When you're an agent, you spend more time repairing than attacking. Right, it's time to neutralize this beast. Right. Whoa, it exploded! Bloody hell. Oh, there's more than one fight. No? Data collection bars. Uh, each full bar gives access to new abilities. Okay. The combats carried out during a mission provides precious data on the beast's face. This data collected while elimin eliminating the beasts enables improving the drone's abilities. The amount of data collected during combats <laughs> depends on the amount of damage inflicted on the beasts. Alright. I kind of like this. A beast's rage increases when it suffers collateral damage produced by a beast that crashes into it. Interesting. Or by the deflagration of a beast that explodes nearby. Beasts that crash into each other mutually inflict collateral damage according to their size. Small beasts inflict one, blah blah blah. A beast's elimination causes a collateral e elemental explosion of the same kind as a beast that ex uh, exploded. Damage caused by this way uh, depends on the element of the beast affected by the explosion, to which it added the damage related to the eliminated beast size. So basically, I'm assuming that if I explode the water beast, it's going to, like, do a lot of damage to the fire beast. Collateral damage allows you to injure the beast without being subjected to immediate counterattack. Ah, there's counterattacks. However, if a beast is subjected to three consecutive collateral attacks, it will be completely enraged and will retaliate using its maximum strength. To stop a beast's rage, you must simply inflict a direct attack or eliminate it. <clears throat> Look at that. Can I put this? Yes, I can. Um, what is this? It's a Waba, and this is a Liznil. So, let me see. Um, no, how do I... How do I check that again? Well, against fire we do less damage, but... I'm assuming water does more damage against fire, and fire doesn't really do a lot of water against... I mean, uh, damage against water. Let's fire from here. There we go. Yeah, right there. Woo! Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> I was wondering where the fire is. Rage is already maximum, so we need to uh, take it out. Yeah, right there. Move forward. I, I really kind of like this. Okay. Lost part. Part? Where has it come from? It could be useful. So I just... Okay. Can I just swap parts? Yes, I can. In... in while... while playing. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> right. So we've got, we've got water stuff everywhere. Phew. <laughs> I like the animations. Oh, that one's all already enraged. So, uh... Let's do this. Bang! No, that one is enraged. So, even fighting them is a bit of a puzzle, because you want to, you know, crash them against against each other, you need to make sure that you don't get retaliation, uh, retaliated too much. That's pretty cool. Alright, then there's a water beast. Uh, well, let's attack that first, then. Nice. Uh-oh, that one's gonna retaliate! Ow! Actually, did a lot of damage. I can repair that. How much to repair this? Okay, so just one part. Okay, that's fine. Uh, righty. Let's do... <clears throat> hmm. If I could do something else. I could do this here, but... No. No point. Let's uh, let's put it right back where it was, because the parts don't seem to have different stats, at least for the moment. I'm sure they will later on. Right. Let's uh, push this one into the other one. Probably gonna get enraged. Yep, it's enraged. Don't you rage on me? Ow. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, so it doesn't actually destroy the part. It destroys the component space thingy. Take that! 
This mission is far from easy. Is it? I thought it was easy. I don't know. These there's just lots of bars here. It said that you know you can um, you can level up with that, gain new abilities and such. Oh, that's a um, cold one. We only do 10 damage against that one, so uh, we'll try to get it with fire first. I'm pretty sure that, that will help. Ow! And I cannot repair anymore. I could destroy something to gain repair stuff. Um, or just do this. Actually, hmm. That's not gonna work. Uh, well, I'll have to destroy something. Let's destroy one of these. So we gain the repair part. And we can put that here. There. Alright, so let's get this one. Oh, I didn't bump into it, but... There we go. Okay, rage is high, rage is high. Now... Let's do this one for now. It's pretty cool that the beasts don't attack, though. Oops. Come here. Boom! And now that one will be raging, but we'll, we can kill it in one shot, so that's fine. The, the mission is not quite going as planned. What do you mean? I should send a report to the database after each important event. Well, we are sort of running out of parts and everything. Whoa! Bloody hell! The drone setup circuit visible on the right is made up of an elemental laser system and sensors that add abilities to the drone. Buttons for activating the elemental lasers are located all around the setup circuit and are indicated by the symbol of the element being used. Clicking on the laser button activates the element laser and it enables obtaining new abilities. The number of laser buttons equipped uh, available to activate is equal to the number of full data bars. Clicking on an active lasers button will allow you to deactivate it to activate the other. All right. Ah, that's how, that's how it does it. Okay. Each ability needs a certain number of calibration shots, shown in brackets. Um, to be used during a combat. The calibration shots build up when attacking beasts. The number of calibration shots already taken is visible on the bottom right during combat. Using a capacity doesn't increase beasts' range. Uh, basically, we would get only two abilities with all of these. Paralysis, Conduction, Persistence. So what did we get? Precision Activation Sensor, 20% extra damage, and stops the target counter-attacking. Ooh, power divided by the number of parts used. Interesting. Okay, so I can also deactivate it, but that's fine for now. What's this then? Activate damage to the next shot's target. Hmm. I'm assuming persistence means that if you attack the same uh, beast next turn as well. Hmm. No, let, let's do this for now. Yeah, I'm really quite actually enjoying this. Waba, Lisnel, and it's a Philisb. Hello, Philisb. How are you? You're a fire dude. All right. So now we've got this stuff. Whoa, look at that. Minus 16. Stop the target counter-attacking, huh? And that actually gives me attack stuff, but... Oh, that's a calibration, okay. Plus 20%, nice. Alright. Uh, Wait. Activation sensor plus 20% damage. Okay, so it's rounding it up. Uh, right. Um, let's see, we've got fire, fire, water, water, and ice. Now, I will kill this one first. I don't need to calibrate, because I'll, uh, I can kill it in one shot. Now. Nice. Okay. Now, I would like to get this one as well, but I will kill it in one shot as well. However, I think that's fine. Boom! Nice. Ow! No! No! I like that sound. Uh, right, so, let's destroy this one. Ah, it wasn't destroyed, darn it. Yeah, now that one is, ouch, raging. It's not nice, against it we only do six damage now. So we'll have to repair this stuff. Um, I could 
do this, but doesn't really help me. No, so it's it's fine. And I can keep that damage for now. We do 10 damage to just do that. The preferred environment of the beasts I've come across is completely different to the one around here. The sponsor only spoke of neutralizing the beasts of the element water. He didn't e evaluate the threat very well. Alright. Um, we don't have the second bar, so forget more lasers. Oh. Now we've got more stuff. And the damage is still there. Okay. Um... I've got fire one here. 16. Okay, let's do this one first. No. No. <laughs> uh, let's push this one. Actually, we don't have to push... Well, yeah, we do. Because it'll do more damage. And then we can push this one. These ones will attack now, unfortunately. Because they're angry. No, they won't. 11. Excellent. We can kill it in one shot. And that one as well. Ouch. Now we can't kill it in one shot, so we have to repair. And we don't have any more repair stuff. But we can still squeeze the stuff in there. Just fine. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, uh. That's not good. Thing, things risk taking a turn for the worst if I come across an opposing faction. Oh, they wouldn't have dared sent me to uh, enemy territory. Wow, so there's enemy drones as well, you know? That's going to be pretty cool. I wonder what happens if I then... Oh, they don't intersect. No, they do intersect. Look, if I turn on this one, it'll uh, hit this one twice. I'm guessing it's going to give me either 40 or maybe a bonus, even 50% extra damage. Right, that's not good. I can't repair that part anymore. Uh, but I will need to. I'll have to get rid of this part. Only gives me two, though. And that's enough. So I can put this part in there. And then do this. Right. I still do enough damage against these. Wow. No. Let's do this one. Ouch. Okay. Ow! Not good. Okay. Six against that one. And nine against fire. It's not very good at all. I think I will need... Yeah, let's let's calibrate. What? Oh, now it's calib. Ah, okay. I've uh, turned on the calibration. I think that's an alarm. There we go. Perfect. So that one dies immediately, and we don't have to calibrate anymore. Just kill it. <clears throat> Judging by their state, the parts I found have recently been used, but there is no one around. Where have those who use these parts have gone? Ah, we've got another one. So what happens if I... Oh, I can't. Ah, it goes uh, clockwise, I guess. I can only turn them on here now. Earth. Well, I've only got fire, so... I mean, I've only got electricity, so I'm assuming... I can only benefit from these? Oh, next shot's target. Uh, st stops the target counter-attacking. Hmm. I'd rather have more damage. If that's possible. Let's see if it is. We can always, you know, turn on different lasers the next time around. Uh, no, it's still 20%. Hmm. So, there's some parts here. Excellent. Right, we need to, Oh yeah, we've only got three health left. I'm assuming we have to die here. Or, well, the drone has to get destroyed. So these are electricity now, actually. That's not good. We're, we do zero damage against electricity, so I'm assuming this tutorial battle you're supposed to uh, lose. So, actually, never mind. I can do electricity damage right here. Um, I need to put this one in. But I need to repair all this stuff. Um, so if I want to put it here, I need this... Now I do three electricity damage, which is not much at all. I can put that one here if I repair these two. Let's get rid of this one. Put that here. What is it going to? What am I talking about? I can't do that. 
Uh, no, I needed the other part. Brilliant. That was very well done. Yeah. That was very well done, in fact. Oh well. I still think we're just supposed to, uh, lose this. Yeah, I don't think I can squeeze this in there anywhere. Actually, what about this? At least a little bit better. Alright, so. Fire, 10 damage. Let's do calibration. I think we need that. Wait. Stop the target counterattacking. 10% damage to each beast of the same... No, we're, do we're gonna do this first. No. Ow. No, not good. Not good. Put it back. Boom. Alright. So we do only 5 damage to these ones. Hi. Hi. Okay, they're not gonna attack just yet. And I don't have any calibration left, so that's brilliant. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, it counterattacked. Uh, right, to get rid of that part. Oh, no, that didn't give me the electricity repair parts. Not the good. Uh, that is not the good at all. Uh, we can kill that one, but that one will be a problem. Ow! Right. Gonna be rather interesting. I need this because... Well, I need both of these parts. Because these parts are my only source of electricity damage. Well, actually, damage against electrical beasts. I don't think we can really survive this, though. Or maybe I'm just really bad at this. Uh, I can repair this. So I can put this here. And then I can repair this one to put this one in. Which is useless because it doesn't really uh, do any extra damage. I don't have any calibration, so I can't stop this guy from counterattacking. I only do three now. That is very not good. I'm getting calibration back, but this is a little bit like um, warships. <laughs> I know, I know. Ow! I've got one health left, and I cannot kill it. This actually, no, I can't. Darn it! And die here. Yeah, they will give me no electricity repair. So, goodbye world. This agent's drone has been destroyed. Now the agent's... Agent doesn't matter for us. Abandon him and send a new agent. Oh. They just leave you there. Oh, there we go. Wait. I've got completely different stuff now. I've got Earth stuff. Interesting. Has the game... Realize that I'm so bad at this. It's just decided to give me another one. Um, this one should be turned around. Darn it! Oh well, I can put it here for now. Hmm. Put this one here. Put ah uh, ah uh, no no. No, I can't put it anywhere. I really do like this, though. This is fun. I like the fact that uh, you can build your drone like this. Kind of fun. Yeah, this is not perfect at all. Oh, and we keep the upgrades. That's interesting. Hello. And I got some more stuff. Against water, we do 12. Against electricity, we do a lot now. That's interesting. I can put this one there. There we go. Interesting, we've got all Earth parts, but we do pretty much zero against Earth. Oh yeah, of course, because, well, Earth. Uh, right, against electricity, we do 16, so I can just... Uh, let's do this one. Ooh, that was actually quite a lot. Not bad, now they're gonna attack. Ow. Right. Uh, so this one is ice. Hmm. Let's do water then. Okay, is it raging? Yeah, it is. So I need to kill it now. Or I could use the stop the counter-attacking thing. Let's do that for now. Ooh, there's very little damage, but it's got no rage, so that's good. So if I attack it now, it will counterattack, right? Yes, it will. Ouch. 
Okay, I can just kill it now. Bloody beasts. I've received notifications. Events have been added to the database. An agent has identified 12 beasts at once. There are also no notifications that indicate confrontations against several types of beasts. Hmm. Any event, uh, any event sent to the database is supposed to pick up the geographical position of the transmitting agent's drone. Yet the event's location is unknown. I like that there's an actual story to it as well. Right, so... Forget this, we just want different stuff. Next shot's target. Hmm. Conduction. I don't know, might get conduction. Alright. So I do need to repair these things now. Because otherwise it's not very nice. Uh, there's an earth one there, and we're very, very bad at dealing earth damage. Very bad. So, I don't have any repairs for that. That's great. Hmm. Let's get rid of, that, rid of that for now. This is not good. I can repair these two, but I only have one left. I'm pretty sure this is not the way to go, but there you go. All right. I can't calibrate because I've got no calibration. Ow. Don't do that. Be nice. Come on. Uh, right, so it's not going to do any extra against uh, electricity stuff, but I'm going to put it there anyway because I'll use it for the rest of them. Not bad. <laughs> Elbrick. Or Ornitric. And Lyphysis. They're all high, high, and maximum. So that one's gonna attack, which is not very nice. I cannot do anything about it. And I only do one damage against Earth attacks. Lots against uh, electricity, though. I'm gonna try that. Ouch. That's just not good at all. Let's put that right back. And repair that to put that right back. Now. That one's gonna attack now. Oh, it's not. I kinda like it. It's huffing and puffing there. Right, so let's move it over there first. I hate you. And then attack it here. Boom. Nice! There are scraps of clothes here. They're from one of our agent's uniforms. What the hell is it doing right here? Well, you know what? I'm really enjoying this game. It, it you know, it looks rather interesting on the screenshots to begin with, but I, I didn't think that this combination of Tetris, uh, warships, repairing with the, uh, you know, elements and stuff, and, and, and then doing, like, Tetris stuff over here with the beasts would be that enjoyable. It's actually really fun. The resolution is a bit weird. Uh, they're pretty much... This is the options screen, by the way. <laughs> That's it. Full screen or window. That's it. Nothing else. Um, it's going to be released on 20th. On the 20th, I believe. Anyway, what an enjoyable little game. I like this quite a lot. The um, translation is a little bit iffy at some point, but um, I don't actually mind it. So, uh, yeah, what a fun little game. I was quite happy to play this. Well, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh, this little first minute episode. And uh, check out my Patreon in the meantime. Have a good one. Bye-bye.